Into the Abyss friends, myself and Chuck Breyer are going to go to Reaper's Revenge tonight. So we'll let you know what our experience was like. Uh, we really can't videotape any of the uh, experience itself, but we'll let you know what Reapers is like and what we think our high points are for the year. See you in a bit. So here we are um, waiting uh, for Chuck to join us. Um, and we're going to have a little fun with us in the ride down, especially because they won't, you know, obviously, they won't let us have any footage um, at, uh, you know, going through the uh, attractions. But I've recently watched a bunch of movies, and I'm actually going to go over while we go down there, and I'm going to have Chuck uh, videotape me and interview me on the way down. Uh, just because we'll have a little fun with this. I've, I've really enjoyed the uh, mockumentary style of films, of uh, horror films lately, so we'll have a little fun with it. Mr. Breyer. That's totally my real name. That is. <laughs> we're we're going to have some fun with this here. I'm actually going to have you videotape me on the way down when we're talking uh, because um, this actually follows the formula of some, some films I've really enjoyed lately. So we'll talk about that in the car. So I do have to ask you this before we get in the car. Have you ever been to any of these scare things before? I have not, actually. Really? I have not. You're in for a treat. You're in for a treat. <laughs> we'll, we'll wait and see. Uh, everyone else should be here shortly. So I'm recording now. You are recording. So we're, yeah. on our, we're on our way to Reaper's Revenge. Um, and obviously we're not allowed to film while we're there. Um, so we'll film on the way there and then after we're done. Uh, Chuck has never been to a scare uh, nope. scare attraction before, so this will I've be... I've done haunted houses and things like that, right. but not, not one of the these big, uh, yeah. more intense ones. Yep, so it'll be it'll be good to see. It'll be fun to see how he reacts. Um, I wanted to do this review because I've been very taken with some movies that we'll talk more in depth because we're filming that next Saturday. Um, I've been very taken with the whole mockumentary horror, you know, first of all, it just blows my mind that, that the Blair Witch, you know, pretty much set that style, but uh, there's been a series of movies that I've watched that are about these scare attractions, and I actually find it pretty fascinating um, because they're trying in their way to not only be an enjoyable and suspenseful movie, but they're trying to look at what it is about the human psyche that wants to be scared, and maybe even, you know, it, it, why it's such big business. So there's a couple of movies I've, I've watched recently. They're on Shudder and Tubi. There's um, The Houses That October Built and The Houses That October Built 2. And both of those are mockumentaries about this film crew that goes looking for extreme haunts. And, of course, as you can imagine, they get in over their heads uh, and, you know, things go horribly awry. You know, and I won't explain to you why they actually go out to do a second one. Um, but it was, it was they were entertaining movies. But it, 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 was, it was interesting to, to see these people. There's a, it, it has kind of the classic horror motif where everyone else is just along for the ride and one guy is obsessed and he gets super... They, they basically, they're looking for this elusive, intense, extreme scare that moves across the country. You know, it doesn't have to... It's like an underground scare. And as the movie goes on, things are getting a little more dangerous and sketchy and everyone else in the group's like why don't we just call it a, we're done and he's just like obsessed with finding it so it's kind of interesting psychologically about that whole you know uh, I mean uh, Reapers I wouldn't call extreme I mean it's it's a scare park and they have pretty clear guidelines um, for the uh, um, actors and for people not touching and things like that but it's interesting the the uh, um, psychology behind it and there's uh, three other movies that I watched Hell House 1 Hell House 2 Hell House 3 again all around the idea about a scare house and you know the mockumentary is from all the footage gathered and things like that so Chuck let me tell let me ask you what are you expecting here at Reaper's Revenge what are your expectations going in never having been to any of these things before? all right so that's really bright <laughs> <laughs> um I don't know. I mean, I've, I've done, again, spook houses and things like that. I know that the big difference here is going to be the actors. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I'll have a huge reaction to it, just because I think in the back of my mind is there's going to be, this is acting. Right. That's just, that's just a, right. my, my personality style. That's just that's just not me. Uh, I, I'm, I, when I do these kinds of events, though, when I do spook houses and stuff, I admire what they can pull off. I like to see what kind of decorations they have, what kind of costumes they have. So I will probably be spending a lot of my focus on just admiring oh, the handiwork of what they've done. 
I think the thing that I, I think you're right, you know, um, I mean, I still startle pretty easily. Yeah. My favorite memory from the last time we went down this with a group of friends is we were in the haunted carnival and they were playing like this uh, dance music, like house music, and they were doing the strobe lights and two of our party, they were busy like dancing ahead and they had their backs to the entrance and I saw this gigantic clown turn around the corner and they had no clue he was there. And when they turned around, they, they, they flipped it. That was a Corey and a Tim. Um, yeah, Chuck, I, I think what I really enjoyed about Reapers was the, like, it was just so artfully done. Like, the, the hayride was just amazing. It was just, it's like, it was like a spectacle. You're just looking all over the place. So, so, so when Reapers turns into a, a real-life horror story, am I going to be the first victim <laughs> or am I going to be the last girl? I don't know. Are you the final girl? Uh, I'm the, fi the final girl. Uh, uh, the final, uh, I am, I am the, the spook event virgin, so it, that makes me the final girl. Well, okay, then. Um, and that's also why I'm having fun with this, because these are the movies I've been watching lately are people who are making documentaries about going to scare parks, and then, of course, things go horribly awry at the scare park. So we will check in again um, when we get to the park line. All right. Okay, so here we are into the Abyss crew. We're about to go up to Reaper's Revenge. I'm not sure where, how the long they'll let us use our camera. I know we can't use it during the... Uh, um, Exhibit, but if we can use it while we're in there, we will. So here we go. I can hear the screams already. <laughs> All right, so we're waiting in line. We're gonna go in again. I'm if, back here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, if we can get any shots inside without them yelling at us, we will. Obviously, we can't do any shots in the uh, event. So I'm excited. Old Chuck's excited. I am. Ex I'm stoked. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. All right. <laughs> So we just go. got out of Reaper's Revenge. Um, <laughs> we're going to be more explicit in our review on the ride home. But Chuck, what, are you, what was your initial gut reaction? My gut reaction? Well, they tore mine out. So <laughs> what no, many guts was, left? It was fantastic. The the props and the the uh, set pieces were awesome. The animatronics were awesome. Great actors. Um, just sometimes I was in awe of what they pulled off. Yeah. It was so well done. Yeah. So we'll definitely uh, definitely have a uh, more. Uh, uh, explicit review on the way home, and we can see here, this is the lounge. Mm -hmm. Get one. Fuck up the head. Yeah. Okay, so Chuck, yes. so if you were saying one. Just one thing that stood out. We'll do a critique on the way home, but one real thing that just boom. One thing blew my mind about it? Yeah. Um, I'll give two. I'll give two. Uh, the dark uh, Alice in Wonderland had such a great aesthetic. I, yes. It was phenomenal. Um, I don't want to give too much away on, on the ride itself, but there was different set pieces, and that one blew me away with how well they pulled it off. Um, but I will give a shout out to Delirium. This is my first time here, so everything's new to me, but that one's brand new this year, and it was... It was really well done. Some awesome yeah. uh, optical illusions, so highly recommended. Very cool. All right, so we have returned from Reaper's Revenge. So what's your what's your official summation, Chuck, as far as the uh, the event? It was a blast going on first time going on one of these fright rides and stuff. And I was uh, I was blown away at, at how well it was put together. Uh, the set pieces were fantastic. I was just kind of taking in all the sights. Um, it was a lot of fun. There was a lot of homages to, to various horror properties, and they did a, such a great job of representing it. Um, yeah, I just can't say nothing. It was it was so cool seeing what they could pull off and uh, put on quite the spectacle. Yeah, um, I, I think that's the biggest thing I really like about what they've done is it's just it's so grandiose and uh, uh, just like spectacle is a great word for it. And I got to give the actors props. They did a great job staying still until the very last minute. And making it, this guy jump. I mean, a half a dozen <laughs> times. I'm, and it, it got to the point where you did not trust it anymore. Is that a mannequin? Is it a real person? It might be a real person. No, I think it's a mannequin. And then, boom. No, it's it's a it's a real person. Yep. And the uh, so, the new delirium of uh, you know event or that was great thing they have. That was, great. That, was that was so cool. Like they have optical illusions. You wear glasses. They're going through there. Everything's messing your eyes. It's hard to see. 
what's what, yeah. uh, and it's it's just messing with you, you and putting you in a really uncomfortable place where you're you're trying to to see your way through yep. and see what's what's real and what's not. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, absolutely. So definitely go check out Reaper's Revenge near us, uh, near Scranton, PA. Scranton, PA, uh, and they will be open, I think, until November first. So definitely go check them out. Yep.